Trends Nexa. Well, if you are in the market for a car which offers you the practicality of a hatchback, the space and comfort of a mid-size sedan, and the on-road presence of an SUV, then look no further than the Maruti Suzuki S-Cross. Well, what is this car all about? It's essentially Maruti's answer to the Ford EcoSport. But has it got what it takes to be the best in this competitive compact SUV segment? We'll find out on the show today. The S-Cross comes across as a typical Maruti Suzuki product. It looks very similar to the Swift from the face. It gets that big grille up front which has the Suzuki emblem in it. That along with those stretch back headlamps along with that fender on the side give it plenty of road presence. The side profile isn't as dramatic as some of its rivals but being over 4 meters in length this car has better road presence than some of its main competitors. The back end is complete with those well styled tail lamps as well as the sculpted bumper. And even though the S-Cross isn't a design which will stand out in this competitive segment it's a design which has its own unique charm. Well, here I am now in the back seat of the S-Cross and as you can see, headroom is not a problem at all and knee room is really generous as well. And uh, by now, you must be knowing that my height for reference is 5'10 and I have adjusted the front seats as always for my driving position. The quality inside this car is much better than most of its rivals. Well, the S-Cross is genuinely a wide car at the back and what that means is that you can actually sit three tall adults over here and it should not be a big issue for those long highway trips. Yes, there is a bit of a hump over here in the floor panel but uh, the footwells have got decent place where you can stretch your feet so whoever is sitting here in the middle has got place to stretch his feet at and uh, if you are sitting here in the middle seat uh, you get a nice view of the dashboard ahead which really does look nice and cool. So let's check out the dashboard now shall we? Well the first things you'll notice inside the S-Cross's cabin is the sheer levels of quality. This car really is one of the better ones in this compact SUV segment when it comes to sheer build quality as well as overall materials used because this car really has some solidly put together plastics. Maruti also has uh, taken a leaf out of Hyundai's book in terms of equipment and are really offering you all the bells and whistles available. You get this huge 7 inch screen which also has navigation as well as Bluetooth along with the stereo system on it and this screen also doubles up as the rear view camera's display when of course you put this car in reverse gear. And all the controls over here really have a very soft touch to them and feel very luxurious and upmarket. Even the uh, wiper switches as well as the headlamp uh, stocks really feel very soft and nice to operate. You also get climate control, Bluetooth and the obligatory feature in many cars now, a start-stop button. Well, the seats on the S-Cross really offer you lots of support as well as the cushioning and the bolstering on the side really helps you a lot when you are pushing this car into the corner and really keeps you in your place. Not only is it a very well-made dashboard, it's also a very practical place to be in. You, of course, get these two cup holders over here. You get this big box where you can keep your favorite uh, fruity drink and you also get one tray over here where you can keep your cell phone or wallet and the door bins are large enough to house those big one-liter bottles. Well, just like the interior, even the boot capacity on the S-Cross is very impressive and overall it's about 353 litres in space and as you can see, it's a very flattish boot, there's minimal intrusion from the suspension and you get a nice and flat loading area. It is a little high because it is of course an SUV. If you want to improve capacity further, you can of course drop the backrest down and increase the capacity to over 800 litres and I'll show that to you now. Well, as you can see, it's almost a flattish area. Well, if you want to go grocery shopping for the month or if you plan on buying some furniture, this is one of the better compact SUVs to do that job in. Well, here I am now driving the Maruti S-Cross. Well, Maruti Suzuki have decided to offer the S-Cross only in diesel power at the moment and you get uh, a 1.3 litre diesel engine and an all new 1.6 litre diesel engine and uh, the 1.3 makes about 90 bhp of power and about 200 nm of torque while the bigger 1.6 uh, litre engine makes about 320 nm of torque and 120 bhp of power. Well the 1.3 litre engine is the same one which also does duty on the Ciaz as well as the Ertiga. Well this 1.6 litre engine is a real hoot to drive along with that chassis out there which is really sporty. This engine really does love to flex its muscle and uh, it really loves to be revved hard and even when you rev it hard, it doesn't really become too obtrusive in the cabin. It remains very quiet and refined and that goes to show you the amount of engineering that Maruti Suzuki has put 
into this car. Well, Maruti claims a 0 to 100 figure of 11.3 seconds for this car, which feels pretty good uh, considering the size and the weight and the category this car is in. And uh, what that really goes to show is the amount of performance that uh, this engine and the S-Cross deliver. Well, another plus point of this 1.6 litre motor is the fact that it's a very refined and very quiet motor and even when you rev it hard, it remains largely quiet inside the cabin, making uh, this car one of the better cars for those long distance trips. Well, the good point about the 1.6 litre diesel engine is the fact that it comes with a 6-speed manual gearbox. Well, what that extra gear does is gives the engine a lot of flexibility. So if you are someone who uses uh, your car on the highway very often, then this engine will deliver very good fuel efficiency figures. All you need to do is just put this gear in sixth gear and sit on that accelerator pedal and you will get a fuel efficiency figure of something around 22.7 kpl from this engine. Well, the S-Cross feels very similar to the Swift in terms of driving dynamics and what that means is that the steering wheel is very feelsome, the gearbox is really crisp and the clutch is pretty light to use and that along with that dynamic chassis means that this car is the best compact SUV out there for keener drivers. Well, Maruti Suzuki engineers seem to get the best balance in dynamic ride as well as comfortable handling and the S-Cross is no different. Well, just like most other uh, common rail engines, this one also suffers from a little bit of turbo lag below 2000 RPM and uh, all you need to do is of course get the gearbox in the right gear and uh, keep it in the right RPM figure which of course for this car is about 2000 RPM to 4000 RPM and there's a wave of torque available in that uh, power range which really makes the S-Cross fly. Well, this very crisp steering wheel along with that nicely set up suspension means that this car really loves to change lanes like a housefly and uh, that makes it one of the better cars if you are someone who really enjoys pushing his car into those corners. Well, the chunky tires on the outside along with uh, the all-wheel disc brake system gives this car very solid uh, braking feel and in fact, it really does drop the anchor down as soon as you press that brake pedal. Another plus point of the S-Cross is the fact that it's a very stable car and it really does soak in the bumps very well, especially at higher speeds. So if you are someone who enjoys those long distance highway trips, then this is one of the best compact SUVs out there. Well, the S-Cross comes across as a car which offers you a great personality on the outside, a very dynamic drive, a punchy diesel engine and a luxurious and comfortable cabin. All that along with the trusted Maruti Suzuki brand means that resale values and after sales will be very strong as well, making this one of the best buys, if not the best buy in the competitive compact SUV segment.